Optimizing host-based systems. Host-based, remember, are systems that have no external AVID cards, HDX, HDXL, or any external AVID hardware like the Omni or the IO or et cetera, et cetera. Host-based is where they're all of the power is coming just from the computer itself. And I am on such a system, so lucky us. Let's go to the toolbar, swing out to setup, and go to playback engine. And here we have the playback engine dialog. So the first choice that we have is that of hardware. I'm on an Apogee Symphony system with a Rosetta 800 and a card. That's what I've got. I might want to send an epic session to my buddy who's in a train station in Italy. He doesn't have the outputs that I do. He doesn't have the inputs that I do. So I might say, switch to built-in and you know do a save as so that it all plays well on his little computer. The minute I switch this, Pro Tools is going to want to open and reclose this session, so I'm not going to do it. Hardware buffer size. All these buffer settings, all this processing, all this usage limit, every single thing that you see in this window can be brought down to two easily understood scenarios. Scenario one, I am in the creative mode. I want to record fast. I want to listen back fast. I want to move quickly. I want to arm a track, uh, sing a vocal, and not have that vocal appear in my ears you know, milliseconds later. I want it immediate if I'm doing a Charlie Parker bebop guitar jazz solo, you know, at uh, 140 beats a minute. I don't want latency. I don't want to hear the band in one time frame and have my playing be milliseconds behind it. Okay, so that's scenario one, the creative scenario. Uh, scenario two is the editing scenario. I'm now out to a place where I've got a huge session. I've got tons of plugins. All my tracking is done. All my creativity is done. And I've got a ginormous epic session that is starting to slow down. And it's not performing well. The I'm getting a lot of disc errors. Everything is slow to redraw. Everything is just gurging along. That's scenario two. Okay, so scenario one, keep these low. Keep those hardware set buffer settings low. Scenario two, grab all the power you can get, okay? The host processor is a function of how many cards are in your computer. If you're rocking the USS Mighty Mothership 8 processor, then you'll see eight things here. If you're sailing the good ship Minnow, you know, like me here, then you're going to see four cards. This limit is appropriately titled. How much of this computer will I allow Pro Tools to use? Let me have it all. I'm going to let it use it all. I got it at 95%. Host engine, when you're in your creative mode, you want this checked. You want it to be, you don't want it to ignore um, because what might happen is you might be in the middle of, you know, take 51 and it might be the take. And if you have this unchecked, then if you get a spike in system usage, Pro Tools actually might stop recording. If you have it checked, it's going to say, I don't care what happens, you know, we're going to keep recording, even if there is some clicks and pops associated with it. Personally, I've never had Pro Tools dump me while I was recording. Delay compensation engine. Say that I have four tracks. Three tracks have no plugins whatsoever. They're just, you know, bluegrass recording, just great mics, great mic pre's. And there's three, three of those. And then say I have a fourth track that's my vocal. And I've got like 15 plugins on that vocal to get the right sound. You know, finally I listen and I think, gosh, the vocal sounds great now, but it sounds like I'm slow, like I'm missing the beat, like I'm behind everything. Well, of course, you are running your vocal through much more processing and the, the other three tracks are going through nothing. So the more plugins you add to a channel, the more delayed it gets. Okay, so to prevent that from happening, you can stick this up to the maximum. Now there's an example of, hey, doing this is going to make me dump your session and reopen it. Do you want to do this? No. Just saying. Disk playback, cache size is, this has to do, this is new in 10. The default is what it comes up to normal. I have six gigs of RAM on this machine, so I can allocate up to three gigs of files in the cache, which is pretty rocking actually. Um, so I'm going to do that. 
and it's going to make my drives work less less hard. And if you ask me, the less hard those drives work, the longer they're going to last. Okay, you may not see plug-in streaming buffer. It's only if you have structure installed, which I do. And uh, this has to do with how quickly that structure plays back. Okay, that's optimizing host-based systems.